everyone welcome to my channel my name is Leandra Chimumbe first and foremost many thanks to everyone who is subscribed to this channel and if you haven't please be sure to subscribe because for the next couple of days I'm going to be embarking on a wonderful journey I shall be having conversations in-depth conversations with amazing men and women who have got so much success that ha they have achieved and I hope you'll be able to learn one or two things from them now joining me today is Mrs. Imel Datsumba and mm -hmm. I'm so excited because her story really really amazed me Mrs. Imel Datsumba has written 38 books and she's the founder and CEO of Legacy, Legacy Oriti International. Mm -hmm. And she has also received a lot of awards. I mean, we're going to talk about the awards as we go, as we go in, down into the video. Now, let me start by saying thank you so much for, for, for coming to this uh, program. You're May you welcome. please tell us a bit about your background? Mm. Well, come. Um, I come from a very large family mm -hmm. and I'm the last born. Mm -hmm. In a family of nine, oh, wow. five boys and four girls. Mm -hmm. um, all the boys are late and I lost one sister. Oh, so okay. we just three girls left now. Mm -hmm. I'm a twin. Oh, okay. Yes. Interesting. Um, my twin brother mm -hmm. died when he was one month old. Oh, okay. Yes. So um, I love God. Mm -hmm. I love what I'm very passionate about everything that I do. Mm -hmm. I, I think it's actually <laughs> showing from the work that we are seeing behind here. <laughs> and um, I have um, the Lord blessed us with um, four children, mm -hmm. and we lost our son in 2010. Oh, sorry about so, that. So um, that's a bit about my background. Okay. Mm, I, I I just love life. I love the gift of life. I love to to give to the world mm -hmm. what God has given me. Mm -hmm. Wow, you know, when I, when I saw you and when we met, I really mm. just saw this enthusiasm mm. and you have got this liveliness that you have now. Thank you. I'm going to ask you to tell us about your success stories, starting okay. with the 38 books that you've written mm. in two years. Uh, you know what? I actually am on my 40th book. No. Yes. So in April, mm -hmm. no, not April, in February, I'm going to launch two books. Okay. Book number 38 and book number, uh, no, 39, 39 and, and book number 40. Wow. Which are almost ready. Wow. But why I did the two, my, my first daughter mm -hmm. is turning 40 in okay. 2020. Okay. So I'm dedicating my 40th book to my mm -hmm. daughter who is turning 40. Wow. Wow. In 2020. I think wow. that's such a profound moment. So I've written this book called Financial Intelligence mm -hmm. and I want to dedicate it to my daughter. Wow. Mm. I mean, if you have a daughter and if you have a son, think about it. Mm -hmm. What legacy are you leaving them? I mean, that's what right. are you teaching them? That's right. So what did that's it take right. for you to write this 38 books? I mean, the, the effort, the hard mm -hmm. work. How did you balance? How did you manage? I think initially, um, when I started I didn't even know I was a writer hey, or mm -hmm. an author, mm -hmm. but I, I, I've always loved, I love reading, I read all the time. Uh -huh. And then I started just writing, you know, in Shona we say Mawumbe, yes. like playing yes. around writing. And I yes. actually like uh, published mm -hmm. four funny books that unprofessionally oh, done okay. books, <laughs> you know. Mm -hmm. And then um, when I lost my son, mm -hmm. Um, the pain was so much, mm -hmm. I didn't know how to handle it. Mm -hmm. And then I wrote a book about him. It's one of the, the unexpected, it's, it's one of the green ones. Yes. So, how old was your son? He was 27. Oh. So, I realized that um, after reading the book, mm -hmm. writing is therapeutic. Yes, it is. You know, I think I read it like 20 times and just poured my heart out and wow. just cried wow. but every time mm -hmm. I felt so healed mm -hmm. after um, like reading, reading the whole the book, book. Mm -hmm. and then after that mm -hmm. um, that was 2010 mm -hmm. after that I then started writing slowly slowly mm -hmm. slowly mm -hmm. but I realized I was caring so much mm -hmm. you know yes. um, and I said to myself Mm -hmm. You know, growing up, we used to have aunties who would yes. sit down with us yes, and, and give teach us, us things. Mm -hmm. And I say to myself, I carry so much. I've made so many mistakes yes. in life. Mm -hmm. And I would not want the young people to make the same mistakes. Yes. So I've actually taken each of the books mm -hmm. and made it into a, like, a, mm -hmm. a, a, a life 
a principle or, or a wisdom nugget or, or something to live by mm. for example mm. i talk about the principle of Oh, honor, like yes. that one. Mm -hmm. I can see it. Yeah, the principle of honor. Our young people don't know how to honor elders anymore. That's true. You because know, of what we are seeing on television, we hey. think that's the best example to follow. You go to schools now, children used to remove their hands. Good morning, mm -hmm. ma'am. Good afternoon. Yeah. They don't do that anymore. Not anymore. So I'm saying, uh -uh, let's go back to those things. We don't want to lose, mm -hmm. you know, our heritage. Yes. So um, one of the things that I just love is that mm -hmm. looking at my own life, mm -hmm. people are born originals, but they die carbon copies because mm -hmm. of the different things that happen in life That's a positive so my thing. my purpose for for writing mm -hmm. is to re restore people to their original purpose mm -hmm. of living yes <laughs> <laughs> why That's they were created mm -hmm. you know so there are certain ways mm -hmm. of how to live for example i talk about um the power of giving for example yes you know when you look at africa w there are a lot of poor people mm -hmm. you know poverty yes uh, we are known for poverty in africa. you know but mm -hmm. when you start giving give mm -hmm. us never like it yes. is more blessed to give than to receive so it's not about the poverty it's about yes. what you are doing with what you have exactly. when you start giving when you start sowing mm -hmm. you know you'll prosper these mm -hmm. are principles life principles that you that you cannot contest with they whether you are a Christian or non-Christian, mm -hmm. when you're a giver, you're blessed. You're blessed. I think the problem is, in, in your mind, you'll be thinking, if I give, I won't have enough. Exactly. So you're exactly. trying to just keep what you have to exactly. yourself. Exactly. Yeah. You know, I was also looking at, at one of the books that you wrote. It's entitled, mm -hmm. HIV AIDS is no longer a death, a death sentence. Mm -hmm. I mean, what inspired you to write that book, really? Yeah, when you look at... Um, Zimbabwe, for example, mm -hmm. they, they just the HIV statistics are just horrendous. Mm -hmm. But what really inspired me is um, I've seen my own family, you know, getting wiped out by HIV. You okay. know, families, yes. um, parents, yes. children, just yes. getting wiped out. And yes. I'm thinking, you know, HIV is no longer a death sentence. Mm -hmm. When you take your medication and when you follow what needs to happen you don't need to die anymore we we, we are so advanced now yes. but in our culture it's almost like uh, when you hear that someone is HIV, mm -hmm. even in our minds, we start mm -hmm. preparing for their funeral. Exactly. It's almost like it's a death sentence, yes, but yes. it's no longer a death sentence. Mm -hmm, you mm -hmm. know, when you encourage, when you get someone to take them in, they can live longer than people are normal. People think they are, they are not sick. <laughs> That's true. So that really inspired me. And um, I, I would like so many people even who struggle with HIV to read this book mm -hmm. because it will help them and inspire them to live yes. their full life without the, the fear yes. of death. Definitely, mm -hmm. definitely because I think the other thing that actually lessens someone's life is, is lifespan is the fact that they stigmatization. Exactly. So you are thinking how am I going to survive? You know people haven't really accepted this mm -hmm. the state that I'm in exactly. yet. Exactly. So I think it's really it's really a good book and if you're listening to this video, if you're watching this video please be sure to to purchase this book mm. yeah now from your success stories um mrs tumba have you had any aha moments like any moments that made you rethink your approach to life whether it's midlife whether when you were mm. in your 30s and <laughs> and going forward did you have yeah. any moments that you had to rethink your strategy or your approach to life you know if i were to relive my life mm -hmm. Uh, to go back and relieve, I would, I would change a lot of things. Okay, please <laughs> share with us. <laughs> I have made a lot of mistakes. That's why I've, I've written so many books. A lot of them, like, um, let me give an example, like um, Evils of Corruption, mm -hmm. The Principle of Honor. Mm -hmm. Rejection is a big one, you know. So you find that um, when I go back into my life, mm -hmm. there are a lot of choices bad choices mm -hmm. that i did yes. you know when you you reap what you sow it's true when you sow an orange you yes. will not reap an a lemon harvest a lemon or a tomorrow. watermelon no yes. you will not do that mm -hmm. so 
uh, 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 consequences are so painful. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you you make a mistake, you can be forgiven yes. for your mistakes, but you still reap the consequences That's of true. what you've done. Mm -hmm. And the consequences are so painful. Mm -hmm. There are certain things that I will not go back and repeat mm -hmm. in life because I just know, each once beaten, twice, twice shy. shy. Mm -hmm. You know, hence coming up with these books. So it's so important to to sow good seeds on a daily basis mm -hmm. because if you for example if you focus on your past yes. right mm -hmm. and or the mistakes of your past mm -hmm. you will bleed the, the future wow you will just bleed all over wow. your future so it's just so important for you mm -hmm. if you want to see a different tomorrow yes you know like what I'm doing right now, mm -hmm. I'm so busy from morning to evening, just mm -hmm. sowing good seeds wow. so that my tomorrow will be a better yes, tomorrow. It will be a bright because tomorrow. I want to change tomorrow. Mm. The definition of insanity is mm -hmm. doing the same thing and expecting different results. results. Mm -hmm. So if I want to see a different tomorrow, yes. a better latter years than my former years, I better do things differently. That's true. So I go back and I just know that death and life is mm -hmm. in the power of the, of tongue, the tongue for example yes. so mm -hmm. instead of speaking death into situations i speak yes. life because yes. i know tomorrow mm -hmm. will be a life changing mm -hmm. tomorrow will be better tomorrow will be brighter yeah. so i can say to a lot of you young people yes. so good seeds on a on a daily basis mm -hmm. in your friendships yes. in your relationships in your marriages mm -hmm. in your ch just so good seeds yes. because for example, you look at, um, we have millies in our garden. Mm -hmm. When you look, when you sow one milli mm -hmm. seed, a cob, mm -hmm. right? Yes. Will you have, harvest one seed? No. No, no absolutely you will, not. You will harvest a whole cob. Yes. Sometimes one stalk will even have three cobs. Yes, exactly. <laughs> so <laughs> you can one. imagine yeah. what you sow mm -hmm. is not what you harvest. Okay. You will harvest ten times what you are sowing yes. today. So if you want to see a different tomorrow, mm -hmm. start sowing good seeds, good today. seeds today. That is what will change your tomorrow wow. in every area of your life, mm -hmm. spirit, soul, and mm -hmm. body. Wow, mm -hmm. that's really amazing. I mean, mm -hmm. that's the concept of you reap what you sow. Yeah. is very important. And <coughs> words of our mouth are powerful, especially today where you just say, you know, you can just, especially, you know, when we, when we go back to our vernacular, mm -hmm. there's a, a word that, that I really don't like personally. It's pakaipa. <laughs> Everything you just say, Pagaipa, <laughs> but you're actually sowing, press. Like press, but you're sowing negativity into the exactly. future. You exactly. are sowing negativity mm. into the future. Mm. Um, my, ne my next question, uh, Mrs. Tumba, would be Have you ever gotten discouraged at some point in time in your life? And how did you overcome that discouragement, especially as a woman, maybe? Mm. I mean, how did you overcome discouragement? Um, I don't think there's any, any pain mm -hmm. that I will go through that will surpass. The, the pain of lo losing a child. Yes. When I lost my son, you know, he just did not wake up one morning. Mm -hmm. You know, you plan the future for your children. Yes. Children are supposed to bury us, mm -hmm. not the other way around. That's true. So the pain was so, it was so deep. Mm -hmm. You know, it's been how many years now? It's been nine years now. Wow. But you think death is a mystery. Mm -hmm. So you find that... Um, I think it was the children of Israel, whenever mm -hmm. they had a death, mm -hmm. they would just mourn for three months or whatever, yeah. put mm -hmm. sackcloth, and then after that, they would dust themselves mm -hmm. and move on. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, um, it was not easy when we lost our son, mm -hmm. but we realized, mm -hmm. you know, we did not cause this. Yes, it just course. happened. Of course. It was unfortunate. Mm -hmm. It was sad. Mm -hmm. The enemy even though he thought he won, mm -hmm. but we are still children of God. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking of David mm -hmm. in the Bible. Mm -hmm. He encouraged himself in mm -hmm. the Lord. Yes. I have personally found amazing comfort in the word of God. Mm -hmm. Just the word of God. Mm -hmm. You know, Joshua 1 verse 8 mm -hmm. says, This book of the law shall not depart from your mouth. That's true. Says mm -hmm. you shall meditate in, in a day and night. Mm -hmm. It says you will make your way prosperous. Yes. It says you will have good success. I have personally found the word of God like mm -hmm. tablets when you go to the doctor. Oh, yes. When you, you give a prescription and say, mm -hmm. take 
three tablets four times a day, yes. for example. Yes. When I take the word of God in the morning, mm -hmm. the word of God in the afternoon, the word of God at night, mm -hmm. I find it comes and heals my soul. Yes. It comes and heals the pains mm -hmm. of what people say, the pains of rejection, mm -hmm. the pains of... Um, the frustrations of mm -hmm. life. Mm -hmm. because oh, rejection. I think there's a book I saw. Yes, there's a on, book on rejection as well. <laughs> yes, it yeah. is. And I want to thank today publicly. I want to thank every person mm -hmm. who has rejected me. Yes. Because every time I felt rejected, mm -hmm. I started writing. Wow. I just started writing. Wow. Whenever I felt secluded, when mm -hmm. I felt, you know, unwanted. Yes. I just you started. To write That's how I, I just started writing mm -hmm. so if people had not rejected me i would not have written books wow as many books as i've written yes. so thank you for rejecting me <laughs> wherever you are <laughs> i'm sure you must be watching this video <laughs> yeah okay um, you have taken us to a different road what i mean to say is the fact that at times when we're faced with difficult situations mm -hmm. we don't run to the word yeah we run to the phone we're yeah. calling someone yeah you know you actually just sleep or you mm -hmm. just feel discouraged yeah but the fact that you've brought joshua 1 verse 8 you meditate upon the word of god daily the mm -hmm. word of god is medicine yes, like you is. are saying i'm sure to someone yes, who is, is listening mm -hmm. you know we should especially as christians mm -hmm. we mm -hmm. should take the word of god as medicine it it, it is it brings healing to the bones mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. i'm sure from what i mean mrs tumba has gone way way before me and mm -hmm. you are hearing this from from her so please Please take it as, as, as very yeah. good advice. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, also, how do you balance work, motherhood, and ministry? Before you go there, I think yeah. I, I didn't quite address what you asked why um, women look down on themselves, oh, yes. oh, why yes. they don't take up positions of influence. That's true. And I was thinking about Matthew 6 33, mm -hmm. which says, Seek first the kingdom and his righteousness, and mm -hmm. all these things shall be added unto me. Mm -hmm. So I have personally found that no matter who is oppressing you, mm -hmm. it's about your personal relationship with God. Yes. Because when you have a personal relationship with your God, mm -hmm. Daniel 11 32 says, The people will know their God. It's exactly. not about the boss, it's not about this person, it's not about whoever is. The people who, who know, know their God, God shall be do strong yeah, and do mighty, mighty exploits. exploits. Mm. So whether you are a boy, a mm -hmm. girl, a woman, a man, mm -hmm. when you know God, mm -hmm. he will use you to do mighty exploits. That's true. It's not even about who is oppressing me, mm -hmm. it's not even about am I looking down on so it's key for you to know wow. who you are. Know who you I are. Lived, know your when I lived, when I read the book on rejection, mm -hmm. I lived in Psalm 139. Mm -hmm. it, you need to know who you are and whose you are. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, what advice would you give to a young woman or a teenager or you know, a young lady who probably is impregnated, but was impregnated? Mm -hmm. Is it the way to commit suicide? Yeah. They've probably been rejected because maybe the, 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 the boyfriend is saying, I'm coming to pay Lobola, but all of a sudden just said, I'm not coming. Mm. And you know, these are the things that somehow affect us as women. Yeah. I mean, what kind of advice would you give to that person? Because this person has a goal, has mm. a goal, has so many goals, and yeah. you know, he has dreams, yeah. and he's feeling discouraged yeah. in his spirit. I mean, how, wh what would you say to this person? I think in life it's very important mm. to have good friends. Mm. When you are a chicken, you play with chickens. Mm. When you are an eagle, you play with eagles. Okay. We all know that eagles so they don't clack. They do. And pluck like chickens. Mm. So your relationships are key in life okay. because they say, show me the five people mm -hmm. that you hang around and I'll show you where you are going. Mm -hmm. <laughs> They're either mm -hmm. successful, mm -hmm. they are drunkards, mm -hmm. or they are people who are just not serious about life. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of people who know me, they know that I'm a no-nonsense person when it comes to life. I don't want to play about life. Mm -hmm because I'm serious about my life. Mm. I want, by the time I die, for God to say to me, well done, good and faithful. Yes. So they say 10% is what happens to you. 90% okay. is how you respond. Wow. So it's not how what happens to mm -hmm. you, it's how, how you, you respond, respond to what happens. So it's just so critical for you to, affirmations are so critical. Yes. You affirm yourself, mm -hmm. hang around people who affirm you, mm -hmm. Because what you are saying to yourself, we call it self-talk mm. in Kansas. Okay. Right? Mm. Um, so when something happens, mm. 
we're talking about this girl who was impregnated. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's the activating event, right? Mm -hmm. Now, it's called an ABCD principle. Okay. The B it talks about the belief or self talk. What the she's activated. Yeah. Okay. The B is belief or self talk. What she's mm -hmm. saying to herself mm -hmm. in her mind about what has happened. Mm -hmm. So remember, it's not what has happened. It's what she is now saying in her mind. Mm -hmm. C stands for consequence of behavior. What she will start to do because of what she is saying to herself. Mm -hmm. In her mind, mm, the two we, are connected. We, we, the two are connected, mm -hmm. and um, A mm -hmm. does not cause C, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. It's yeah. the B, yes. what you're saying to yourself in, in mind. that causes the consequential behavior. Mm -hmm. So, when you're restless, mm -hmm. when you're feeling anxious, mm -hmm. you know, just stop and say, It's not what has happened, mm -hmm. it's what I what am I saying mm -hmm. in my mind about what has happened, mm -hmm. you know. So, as Christians, we talk about displacing negativity with positive, okay. know how to distress yourself. I talked about David encouraged himself in the Lord, mm -hmm. you know, run away from temptation, yes, you know, uh, hang around people who encourage you, okay, go for help. Mm -hmm. If you need to go for counseling, do so, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. but get out of the depressive mm -hmm. situation that you're facing. The environment matters. Yes, because if you don't, you'll go back mm -hmm. to be where you start the talking belief. the 90%, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. it's supposed to be what has happened, the 10, mm -hmm. the activating is supposed to be the 10%. Okay. But we make it 90%, isn't mm -hmm. it? Yeah, we do. Uh, it's, it's, I think it's, wow, it's, I think it's going back to what's in here. Exactly. Because you the say battle the belief, is in the mind. Mm, it's the, the belief, belief is activate, in the, mind. the belief, consequences and display. Yes, you okay. displace. Displace. So know, know mm -hmm. how to displace, you, to distress yourself. Like, okay. I, I walk every morning five kilometers. No, you walk. Yes, I do. Wow. At this age, you still walk. Oh, yeah. <laughs> five kilometers. When you, wow. I call it an hour of power. Okay. When I go, I become very creative when I'm during that hour. Mm -hmm. The stress, you, you, when you come back after that hour, the stress is gone. It's all gone. Some it's people gone. go to the gym. Mm -hmm. Some people jog. Mm -hmm. Some people need. Some mm -hmm. people sing. Mm -hmm. As Christians, we have another one that can help us. Mm -hmm. Pray in tongues. Wow. Because when you mm -hmm. pray in tongues, it's like you're charging yourself like a battery. Yes. You are displacing mm -hmm. negativity mm -hmm. with the positive. I have personally memorized the word of God. Wow. Because mm -hmm. can you imagine mm -hmm. uh, if you're about to commit suicide? Yes. And then you suddenly remember, the Lord is my shepherd, yes, I shall not want. Yes. He makes me to lie down mm -hmm. in green pastures. Mm -hmm. He leads me beside the still waters. Yes. He restores my, my soul. soul. Mm -hmm. He guides me in paths of righteousness. Yes. For his name's sake, yet though I walk through the valley of the shadow of, the of, death. Shadow of death, I'll fear no evil. For you, For you are with me. me, Lord. Your rod and your staff, they comfort they me. Comfort me. Mm -hmm. You prepare a table before me in the presence of, of my enemies. enemies. You anoint my head with, with oil. oil. My cup runs over. Yes. My cup overflows. Mm -hmm. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me, shall follow me all the days all of my days, life. Despite as I what dwell in the house of mm -hmm. the Lord forever. Mm -hmm. Do you think you want to kill yourself after reciting Psalm 23? You will not. No. You will because not. you have just displaced negativity yes. with the positive mm -hmm. life-giving word of God. Your mind is empowered. Exactly. So sometimes I have memorized scripture, mm -hmm. even when I'm walking, when I'm driving, mm -hmm. I will recite Psalm 27, I will recite Psalm 91. I don't even need to open the Bible yes. anymore because I've, I've embedded it in my mind. My, my, my pastor is always saying, mm -hmm. wisdom is impounded. Wow. Me, I, I impound the word of God mm -hmm. into my spirit. Yes. Because even wow. when, when I lost my, my son, mm -hmm. you know, you realize, you know, I don't even have strength. I don't, what do I have here? Mm -hmm. But you realize that the word of God that you have been sowing on a daily basis. Wow. Just, just come and help you to stand, mm. to stand in the midst of circumstances. So wow. take the word of God as seeds as well that you sow. We talked about sowing seeds on a daily basis. Yes, yes. Sow the word of mm -hmm, God mm -hmm. because tomorrow mm -hmm. it will help you to stand wow. when persecution comes, yes. when frustration comes. 
the word of God will bring perseverance, mm, mm, mm. you know, and it all outlines the persecution that you're going through. It does. Yeah. I, I think they're the, the bottom the umbrella that's covering everything here in terms of how you live, especially as a woman. It's being connected to God, exactly. the word of God, prayer, you know, discipline. Discipline. It all takes discipline mm -hmm. because uh, a lot of people are lazy, mm -hmm. lazy even to memorize the word, Yes. lazy to wake up and pray. Less even to go to church exactly. on the Sunday. And especially when it rains, you're like, oh, it's raining. I'm just, I just can't go to church. Less to fellowship with other Christians. Mm -hmm. So I'm very disciplined. I mean, I'm extra disciplined mm -hmm. because I know once you're disciplined, you get good results. You do? You know, so no matter what, mm -hmm. I wake up and I pray. Whether wow. I feel like it mm -hmm. or I don't feel like it. Whether I'm down, mm -hmm. I wake up and just pray. You just pray. Whether I'm up, mm -hmm. I wake up and I pray wow. and I read my Bible. Because I am just sowing seeds. The, 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 the world is unfair. It is. The enemy hates us, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. So even when, when we lost our son, we were thinking, how are we going to stand after this? Mm -hmm. How will we even stand and preach to people yes. as pastors? How do yes. you stand up and preach? They will say, so how come? How come your son died? And if, not and even that. I even have someone who say to me, hmm. Ah, but when I'm at Sumba, you pray a lot. Why would God remove your hand like that? And when, you don't want that during the time of grieving. No. But you know what? When you know your God, mm -hmm. you will bring the right people around, around. you. Even during those times, we felt the love of the body of Christ. Yeah. Because we constantly sow good seeds. Mm -hmm. We have time for people. Mm -hmm. We mm -hmm. are people helpers. Yes. And when we needed the people, they were there. They were there During our you. time, we were just, you know, literally carried mm -hmm. by the love mm -hmm. of the body of Christ. Wow, our church was amazing when we lost our son. If it was, if we were not in a good church, I'm not sure how we would have managed. Beautiful. Yeah, okay. so so the word of God has been my anchor. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. um, I don't know what I would have done if we didn't have the word of God. Yes, when you talked about discipline, mm -hmm. I was taken to Proverbs 22, 29. See thou a man who is diligent in his work. Yes. He will not stand before me, a man, yes. but he shall stand before kings. Yes. And I'm reminded of, you know, when you launched your book, when you said yes. the, 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 the Miss, Mrs. Auxilia Nangagwa was yes. there. Yes. That's standing yeah. before kings and not standing before me, a yeah. man. You no, know, um, the minister of higher education um, mm -hmm. said to me, not, not me, when you, in his speech he said, you know what, in, instead of coming to this launch, I said to me, let me go and see this woman. Wow. Who has written a book mm -hmm. that has attracted the first lady? Wow! Yes. And I started thinking about it. I said, mm. yes. "You know, mm -hmm. that that that's something else. It is because it's a hot topic, and our our, our mother in the nation mm -hmm. she wants to help. Yes, the next generation to stop abortion. Yes, yeah. That that's diligence. Yeah. You know, something that I hadn't asked about, which is very important, is mm -hmm. your organization. Okay, uh, Legacy, Legacy Urity International. Please tell me about it and the aim of the organization. Yeah, you know, Legacy, you know, Legacy, mm -hmm. me, me, we, we want to live Legacy. to change the next generation. Yes. Urity means Legacy as well oh. in Swahili. Oh. So it's Legacy, Legacy, Legacy International. International. Okay. So the whole idea is for these books mm -hmm. to get into the hands of young men and women mm -hmm. so that they change their tomorrow. Okay. These are seeds right there I into the next generation. Wow. So it is my desire mm -hmm. that when you go into libraries or mm -hmm. schools, mm -hmm. you know, you get these kind of books mm -hmm. for our children to read yes. and, and get inspired and get direction mm -hmm. for life because there is a lot of peer pressure there on is. our children. There is. So when we don't leave the right uh, tools for them to use, mm -hmm. they'll go astray. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So legacy, um, we are passionate about what we do. Mm -hmm. We like excellence. We have a standard of excellence. Mm -hmm. And we want to, ne to help the next generation. Wow. We write books that take people back to their intended purpose of living. Okay. Mm. Wow. You That's should get yourself a book. <laughs> because she's full of wisdom. <laughs> <laughs> now, in closing, um, I'd like, to, to, yes. I'd like you to just leave us some of your success habits. You know, what are some of the habits that have gotten you to where you are today? <sighs> Yeah, 
I think we, we spoke about some of them, the discipline. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm very time conscious. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> when you're on time, you're late. Okay, or when you're on time, you're late. When you're on time, you're late. I will not be late for a meeting because time is money. Yes. Time is precious. Mm -hmm. So I I don't take um, lightly to people who waste my time okay. because I don't waste yes. people's time. I'm very mm -hmm. sensitive to About time. time. Mm -hmm. That's one of my... Um, my um, my very key points, you know, I was mm -hmm. speaking to, 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 a, to a friend the other day, mm -hmm. we were at a, a ladies group, mm -hmm. and then these ladies were late. They thought, oh, this is just like a social group. I said, no, even if it's a social group, we start on time. Yes. You know, How? Let, we, let's be disciplined and start off time. Mm -hmm. So discipline is, is, is just something that I've always grown up with. Okay. Um, integrity. Mm -hmm. I think it's key. Mm -hmm. It's something that will open doors for you in life. Mm -hmm. uh, be a person of your word. Mm -hmm. For me, what you see is what you get. Okay. You will not, you will not see me uh, gossiping or, or, or doing things like that. I don't have time yes, for, for things that. like that because I'm time. just too, too serious. Mm -hmm. um, just love people and love God. Okay. You know, there's a scripture which says, love the Lord your God with all your heart, mm -hmm. with all your might, and with, and then love your neighbor, As you, you love know. Yourself. So daily, daily I'm thinking, who can I put a smile on today? Okay. Who can I encourage today? Mm -hmm. I, and I, my very strong point, I'm an encourager. Wow. I just love encouraging. Encourage if you come you. to me mm -hmm. and you're down, mm -hmm. by the time you leave, you are up there. Yes, yeah, you know. when I came out, I was like, okay, yeah. I'm late. How is she going to respond to this? <laughs> yeah. So I but just love encouraging. I, I love encouraging people. Mm -hmm. That's what it, it, it makes me, it makes me tick. Wow. You know. Yes, it, it does. I love fashion. Dress okay. well in life. Mm. You know, the wow. way you dress outside mm -hmm. um, will reflect how you, you, you feel inside. So on a daily basis, even even if you come here and I'm I'm dressed casually, it's it's a mwah, casual. Wow! I dress wow. well. Did you hear that? <laughs> Did you hear that? <laughs> I dress well, mm -hmm. and those who know me know that. Wow! You know I dress well for me. For I dress well for my husband. Wow. And I dress well for my God. Wow! You know, wow. you know, <laughs> because yes. you know God has given us all those things, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, and I'm very good at. Um, shopping as well I, I i when i shop i am um, i have an eye for quality wow i just I want I, that I, eye as well i just love <laughs> nice things mm -hmm. and i'm good mm -hmm. you know and i think god increases a gift that you have yeah so yeah. i i just love to dress well wow. and just to look good mm -hmm. and represent my God mm -hmm. and my husband, well, wherever I am. Mm -hmm. mm. I'm sure, you know, to two of yours who are watching, you've really gotten the point that how you dress determines how you feel inside. Yeah. So I think especially for us women, sometimes when you get married, you know, you begin to dress down because you feel, not, oh. Not even when you get married. Yeah. Have you ever seen a woman who is going through stuff? Mm -hmm. Just look at the hair style. Yes. Sometimes they're not even combed. Mm -hmm. When a woman is really struggling, they sometimes they just put those zambias around them they don't even and want to look nice shirt. anymore and okay. you wonder why some men start looking outside mm. i don't even wow. give my chance mine a chance to look anyway wow. because i'm wow. always looking you're always looking good mm -hmm. wow <laughs> <laughs> so it's a tip for you young people yeah it's a tip look thank you good a... all, all the time mm. no yeah. matter your home it doesn't matter your home you're going to oh, the yeah. shops just close by or oh, you're going yeah. to the tuck shop oh, yeah. but make sure you look good That's that's it right. has been really, really amazing uh, yeah. having a conversation with you, Mrs. Tumba, and I'm so delighted. I really mm. hope you've learned so much from Mrs. Tumba, mm. as much as I have. Mm. And please be sure to share this video and also do like the video. <laughs> and be sure to come back again next time because we've got so many conversations that are coming right here on Above Mediocrity.